Okay, so hi guys, I'm Zelly Pop and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs> Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know about the new giveaway that I am holding on my channel. It's for the Sims 4 Get Famous Expansion Pack. The link for it will be down in the description. Um, but if you would like to enter, um, it will be running from the 2nd of November until the 14th of November. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and get yourself entered, follow the link in the description. Log in with an account uh, and then make sure you're subscribed. If you wanted to, um, you know, have a look at my Facebook page and also follow me on Twitter. It'll also give you two extra new entries, so you have three times the chance of winning. If you guys want to go enter, thanks a lot. Bye. So today we are back with Kelsey Hartman um, and the babies are crying as per usual. So let's quickly go ahead and feed them and give them a bit of a cuddle. And who are you? We'd love for you to have you the good timers. No. No, thank you. Um, I'm not up for that. I'm having a good time taking care, living my life. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and use the toilet and have a shower. Um, and then we will quickly go ahead and grab her leftovers. Right, okay, so um, as you can see, it's probably been around um, a day since you guys um, last saw, you know, the, um, the series. Mainly because it was basically the whole day was Kelsey sleeping and then waking up and then looking after the babies and then sleeping. So I didn't bother recording any of that because basically it was just, you know, me skipping through the time. Um, oh my god, this is so annoying. Um, basically just me skipping through the time and having her, you know, look after the, um, look after the baby. So we actually did get a notification, um, you know, um... It was, the, yeah, the morning before, so this morning, yeah, it would have been this morning, that um, the baby's going to be aging up, so tomorrow, so it being, when it crosses over into Wednesday's day, the babies are ready to age up, so that is all good, we can go ahead and age them up um, in the next episode, so that's good, or sorry, not in the next episode, uh, tomorrow, which will be in a few hours or so. Um, so let's quickly go ahead and repair that, because we need to, you know, get our house sorted out first. Babies are crying once again, so go ahead and change um, change their nappies. Right, okay, she will be finished soon. So, then we need to have her head on downstairs. Um, and then, okay, we done? Okay, oh my god, the babies, the babies crying, actually, like, they, they stress me out, like, in real life. <laughs> right, okay, go ahead and grab a serving of the salad. Um, and she's looking pretty big, I'm pretty sure she's going to have her baby... Yeah, in the next few hours or so. So hopefully, we will be um we'll be having a baby or or two or three soon. So let's um hurry up and, and get on with that. We need to head on outstairs and harvest. Uh, sorry, head on outside and harvest all of our um foods out here and also weed them. It would be nice to get some of them fertilised as well so we start getting higher quality produce so we can start making higher quality food now that she's got a higher level baking skill. So I think we'll we'll also do that once we've harvested some food. Um, so let's let's quickly grab all of those first. Um, why does she keep putting her umbrella up? That's so annoying. Honestly, we we get it. Okay, just just leave the umbrella. Leave it. Okay. Right. Okay. There's the pears that we need to make the 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 pie. So we can go ahead and use that. Let's quickly have her finish everything out here first, and then she can use the downstairs toilet afterwards. Um, and then once she's finished all of this, um, oh, she's all sad because she's getting wet. Oh, okay, go. Come on, hurry up. You can get back inside soon. Um, it's actually winter, but luckily it doesn't actually snow in, um, in, what is this world? Um, Oasis Springs, which is also Maristella, I think, which is the save, like the new name for the save that I'm in. So, um... Yeah, we should be all good in that department. There shouldn't be any snow, but there'll be a lot of rain. So, unfortunately, we have to just bear the burden of that. Um, right, okay, quickly go uh, clean out the spoiled foods. Um, and then let's have her go bake. So, I think the only thing that she can bake is that fruit pie. So, we'll probably use up all the fruit that we have to, um, to bake those bits. Do you think it's actually worth us fertilizing these plants or do you think they'll be okay without us fertilizing them i mean probably to get their quality up we're going to need to start fertilizing them so 
I think we will we'll probably do that. So let's let's use up our pairs. Is she tired again? Oh my god, she's tired again. How is this possible? I literally have had her slept for the whole day. Oh my god. Okay, right. Okay, right, we've got a pie. It looks disgusting. It looks very poor quality. But besides the point, put it back in there. Um okay, the chorus is back. Quickly go ahead and feed them. And it is actually Wednesday, so we could age them up, but I think I'm gonna wait a few hours in advance um before we start aging them up just because it'll be a bit easier to look after the babies like this um they're more difficult to take care of when they're toddlers even though i'm really excited to see what they look like um i think we'll wait a few hours before we age them up because they're easier to, to handle this way so let's quickly go ahead and sort all of those out and then we can go and bake um some more fruit pie since we have some more pears how many more do we have of oh, 16 we've got more than enough pears to share um Right, okay, quickly sort the babies out. Actually, I don't think she, I think she's going to be too tired to do any of that. Right, what does she actually need to do? Um, we could probably just have her quickly go grab a meal. Um, so grab some uh, salad out of the fridge. And then we'll have her go head on over to sleep. So hopefully she gets the babies all sorted out. I cannot wait to um, buy her another bed. Because this bed is, is really giving me issues. But... Um, I tell you what, I've got an idea. Let me go ahead and sell all of these summer. We haven't got summer in a long time. Let's just go ahead and sell those. We don't need those. Right, okay, so let's sell everything that's here. Um, the snowdrop, they can definitely be sold. Let's sell all of these. Um, wait, didn't we need sage to make something? Or was it basil that we needed to make something? Oh, we need all of those. So we need onion and basil to make those. But they would probably sell for quite a lot of simoleons because they take so much to make. But we only... Now, I don't, we, we don't even grow basil, so it doesn't even matter. So let's just go ahead and sell those for money. Right, okay. So we need to get stuff sorted out for the babies because they are going to be aging up into toddlers soon. So, if we could grab them some beds. Let's see how much this is going to cost us. So, how much are we going to be looking to spend? I mean, technically I kind of feel bad if I use these because these are custom content. Um, as much as I'd love to use them though because they're, they're going to be a lot better. Because uh, they look a lot nicer, that's the only thing. But like, what is the cheapest EA toddler's bed? And then I can sort of match up prices for that. Ah, okay, there goes my dog. Fabulous. Right, okay, so I just had a look. So from the looks of it, the cheapest bed that they've got is 160 simoleons. So I've actually got these beds here, which are 150 simoleons, which, are, you know, they're, they're you know, 10 simoleons cheaper. But look at them. They look way cuter than these ones. So we could probably get away with using these. Um, so I was thinking if we just put these in here real quick... Um, Okay, and we'll probably end up changing the colours because we can't have them both the same colour so that we know that they're for different different babies. These will probably end up staying here and we could just change the colour of them um, if, you know, we want to. Um, so those can uh, stay like that. Um, hmm. Okay, so what else are we going to need? So these are for the toddlers so far. We're going to need a potty. I'm not going to bother getting high shares because those are honestly just the like will be the be all and end all of me so um those are so annoying because they keep like picking up the babies and then taking them out again and then just oh it's just such a hassle so let's go ahead and get um a potty because they're gonna need one of those um how much are those tablets because they are so convenient to have for the toddlers um they're gonna be in here aren't they okay too much money they're 500 simoleons each so what else are we going to need? So we have to build... Let me double check the notes, but I'm pretty sure we have to build all of their skills. So this is movement and thinking. So let's grab that. Social skills we can build ourselves. Um, right, these are for children only. All of these toys are for children only. Okay, I think that's the only thing that we could get then. It would be nice to get a, a you know, a, a book case. But for the moment, I think these are like a necessity. We need to have them potty trained and we need to have them, you know, sorted out with this. So for the moment, let's um, put these in our household inventory and then we'll get them back out when we're ready 
um, to use them. Uh, these could actually be sold. And then we could afford a tablet, I think. So you know what? Let's go ahead and sell these gnomes. And then grab ourselves a tablet because that is going to cover everything for the babies other than potty, which we just have to cover ourselves. So we'll go ahead and get one of these and put that in the inventory as well. Um, We could probably get a toddler bookcase as well. That would be great because then we could read them some books. That would be thinking. But that's probably not. That's probably no. We don't we don't really need that. So um, let's get rid of that. For the moment, yeah, let's just leave it at that. We're all, we're all good. We're all good now. So, okay. Right, our girl needs to quickly eat her food and then head on up to sleep. And then we'll go ahead and age the babies up um, once she wakes up. Right, okay, so what perfect timing. She's actually gone into labour, which is very convenient for us because somebody told me in the last episode that when we go to the hospital with her, um, all of our needs go up. So that will be great for her energy right now. So let's quickly head off and have the baby at the hospital. We're going to join her. And we're not going to have anybody go with her. We're just going to have her go by herself. Um, right, okay. That's all cool. Okay, yeah, so we're going off to the hospital with her. Um, we're going to go have her babies. And then we need to age the old babies up to toddlers. So, yeah, they are they are due to be aged up in a, in a second. Um, because otherwise they're probably going to end up aging up by themselves, I suppose. So, oh, okay, it's actually snowing here. Oh, it looks so cute though, doesn't it? Uh, Jackson and Dallas have been sent to daycare. Oh, okay, and she just passed out. Okay, this doesn't look good on me being the sim god and the fact that my pregnant sim just fainted outside or just died of exhaustion outside of the hospital. So, it's actually Winterfest. Okay, we probably won't be celebrating any of this. I mean, as bad as it sounds, we could probably make a grand meal for herself. Um, Father Winter will probably not coming around. We're not opening any presents. We could have festive spirit with Father Winter. We're not decorating the house. So, um, that, that, that could work. That could work. So, let's um, have her go over and check in at the front desk. Um, so, hopefully she gets into her, into her, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, all her knees go up and she'll get into her, you know, patient outfit. Or, or not, because it's so cold, I assume. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's so cold. So, let's go ahead and get on that operating table and uh, get these babies or baby out. Um, right, okay, who are you? Travis Scott, okay, he might be a potential suitor. Um, but to be honest, I probably want to use one of the baby daddies that, um, that I have put into the game as the next one, you know, as the next baby daddy, but, you know, we'll think about that once we have the babies. So, let's go ahead and spin on until we're ready to give birth to babies, or baby. Okay, so Kelsey just gave birth to a baby girl, um, which is awesome. So, I actually forgot the last baby daddy's name. His name was Arthur something. So, okay, give me one second. I'm going to go double check um, for the baby name, so for the girl. And I'm also going to go and check um, what the baby daddy's last name was so that I could put that as her last name. So, give me one second. Right, okay, so I am back. Um, right, so I had a look at the last name. And the last name is actually Ortega. So we've got that as his last name. Um, and for the girl's first name, I really like the name Haley. So if we choose the name Haley, so the person who suggested that was Nicole Wyman. Um, so that's going to be the girl's name, um, which is uh, Wiley Ortega. So I really like that name. It's very cute for our first baby girl. So let's go ahead and submit that. And oh, okay, it looks like it was only one baby this time. So we've got our baby girl. Perfect. Okay. Right, okay, so she's all good there. She's a happy little bouncing... Oh, okay, she's gone. <laughs> happy little bouncing baby girl, and she's, she's gone. No, don't you spend my money, okay? Don't you be trying to buy stuff out of the vending machine. Right, okay, so that is the baby name. Um, So her name is Hayley Ortega, which is very, very cute. Right, okay, so let's head on back to the house. Um, Right, okay, so I think what we're going to do now that we're back to the house is we're going to age up the babies into toddlers so that we can obviously get them sorted out then we're going to do um a makeover on them and then we need to sort out the uh Haley's bedroom because she's going to be in the same bedroom but obviously we need to sort her you know stuff out as well so right um let's put Haley Haley in here first um actually let's just leave Haley out here for a second <laughs> right let's get the babies aged up for the moment so quickly run up here 
um, and age both of them up because they are our main priority so that we can get them, you know, in toddler beds so they're not sort of stuck in these cribs. And then we'll put Haley in one of these cribs that they've got. So who is this? This is Jackson and he's actually aged up with black hair. And what trait have they given Jackson? So Jackson has got the charmer trait. Okay, very cute. We like Jackson. So this is Jackson Goth and he has his he has his dad's hair, which is really cute. And he has his dad's eyes, I think. Or does she have no she has dark eyes as well. And she's actually crying. Oh, okay, we'll come back to you in a second. Come on. We've got to age the babies up. Okay. And next baby is Dallas and he also has black hair like his dad um, and Cassandra has sent Dallas a gift so that's his sister is that right yeah that's his sister that sent him a gift there we go okay right let's quickly sort out you because she's crying and she needs a nappy changed um, and then just leave leave the babies for me for the moment um, right okay let's let's get this baby sorted out please stop crying I'm so done I'm so done with babies crying how am I going to handle this? Right, what's this? Um, acquired the communication skill and also the mail has been delivered. Okay. Right, let's quickly sort out this room first of all. So, if we change one of these to like a, a girly sort of colour, which is more like that. Let's put these away in our inventory because we're definitely going to need these sometime soon. Um, and then let's get out these toddler beds. So let's put one either side here. Then we're going to need um, a potty, which I suppose could go in the corner of the bathroom. And then this could also go here. And the tablet could obviously go on the floor just over here. And I think that's that's about it. Um, it looks pretty run down. I'm, I'm so ashamed. Um, I feel like we should probably put in some, like, some bright, you know, like, colourful... Um, wallpaper but I don't want it to be girly but I don't want it to be boyish either so I kind of want it suited within the middle um okay that's all a bit it's all a bit Larry it's all a bit it's all a bit too much for me um what have we got in here maybe I mean that's quite a nice color that that's that's gender neutral right that's gender neutral I can live with that and it brightens up the room a bit because everything in here is really dark so yeah you know what we'll we'll give them We'll give them that, I think. <laughs> I think. Um, maybe some clouds, though. Clouds are cute. Oh, the clouds are so cute. Come on, you, you can't say no to the clouds. They are so adorable. No, we're having clouds. I don't care. <laughs> right, okay. Right, rooms are sorted out. Perfect. And she's actually completed her first milestone because she spent a thousand... Um, a thousand simoleons on baby or child item so she needs to read to a child for two hours and social to a child for ten uh, ten times so i'm sure we'll end up doing that soon um right okay so first things first baby actually needs to be oh okay let me wait for her to put her down so i can pick her up so baby needs to be moved into this crib over here um perfect okay so she's in there and then we need to sort out the babies or toddlers should i say so let's quickly head into creator sim with them so yeah that'll be cool right i'm gonna go ahead and spin on um and you know make a time lapse of it so that you guys aren't stuck watching me do it in slow motion um and i'll let you guys sort of watch the makeover of jackson and dallas so i'll be right back
Right, okay, so I have finished decorating, or should I say, remake-overing all the kids. Um, so this is Dallas here, and he actually got the angelic trait, which I forgot to mention. Um, and this is what he looks like in his cute little outfit. Um, and obviously that's his face. He looks so much like Mortimer, like his actual face shape and his like really, really dark, like reddish, like brown eyes. Um, and then we've also got Jackson as well, who also looks a lot like um, Mortimer, but I'd assume she, he looks a little bit more like Kelsey than um, Dallas looks more like his dad. Um, and that's what he looks like just there, and his outfit is just here, and obviously I did tell you that he had a charmer tray. So we've got our little boys, and they are the sweetest little things ever. I didn't bother putting a custom skin on them because I've actually got a custom skin as a default installed. So they have already got like a, you know, a custom skin already installed, which is why they look so cute as little bumpkins. But um, yeah, I think I'm all done. Um, it might be worth me actually putting some, some hair on them. Did that do anything? Oh, actually, I do quite like it with that. Yeah, actually, let me try doing that on him. What does he look like? with his um hair all right okay i do normally like this so i'm probably going to keep that on him just because i like that bit around the edge right okay so i think i'm all done so let's go ahead and accept them i also changed um dallas's last name to goth as well so they're they're all good they've got their dad's last name hopefully we got sent some good gifts from them uh, from the you know uh from the sister i think yeah cassandra was that her name yeah cassandra goth sent us something in the post so let's quickly run downstairs um, and see what the boys have been sent. Um, let's get Mal and also check for Winterfest gifts. Hopefully she got a gift. And look how good she's looking. After, you know, three children, she's got such a banging body. I mean, let's be honest. She's just she's just such a smoking hot mum. Let, let's, let's be honest here. But anyways, let me, let me stop like <laughs> going all over my sim. Right, okay, so she's collecting everything from the Mal box. Perfect. Um, Kelsey got there's no place like gnome from Jackson Goth. Oh, okay. How our, our little boy sent us something in the post. Oh, yeah, of course he did. Right, anyways, let's um get rid of there's no place like gnome because we could always do with the money. <laughs> this is what um Cassandra sent us. Now it might be worth keeping, but only children can use it, so it might might actually be worth us selling for 120 tamaleons. So let's go ahead and you know kick that off. Um, and sell that. That that's all fine. Okay, so what's wrong with the babies? Right, okay, so you, sir, um, you are being bad. So we have to, as the mother, it is mandatory that we go and scold them every time they do something wrong. So let me wait for him to do something wrong and then I'll quickly Oh no, actually he's just talking to his brother. Okay, that's all fine. Right, what is wrong with him? Unwanted new sibling. Oh, okay. So they're just mad about meeting uh, Haley. Right, that's fine. You guys can be mad. So why don't we have to let him make the mess? Right, okay. So quickly go and make the mess wherever you want to. So I can come up there and scold you. Um, right, okay. Quickly. Parenting. Discipline recent behaviour. Firm. Tell not to make a mess. Right, okay. Quickly head up there and tell him not to make a mess. They are improving their skills, which is all good. Right, okay. He doesn't like us for that, but it's fine. <laughs> Quickly go ahead and, I don't know, calm him down as well, because I think he's pretty mad. Um, oh, okay, he's all good with that. That's so cute. Right, okay, let's clean up his mess. And then let's have him actually go and stack um, and get his get his skill up. Um, so let's have, them, let's have them do their own thing whilst we go and do our own thing. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, which is great. Um... Right, how much food have we got in here to actually use? We've got quite a lot, but I think I want to make some more. So, quickly go make some more. Make some sourdough bread. Uh, it looks like Mortimer's actually here. Is is he here? Just, oh, hello? Hunky? Hunky? Hello, who are you? Sergio? Oh, he's a teen. But can we meet him? Oh my god, what's she wearing? Can we meet him and, like, have him as a potential suitor? I know that sounds so bad. We're, like, chatting up a teen. But quickly go out and say hi because he'll age up to a, an adult sometime soon. Uh, and we'll, we'll catch him then. <laughs> so go ahead and say hi to Sergio. Um, just, so, just so he's, you know, he's in the DMs. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm never going to say that because he's a teen. Right, okay. Just just ignore me, please. Right, quickly go ahead and bake um, the sourdough bread dough. Sourdough bread, like I said in the first place. 
Hi guys, sorry about the abrupt ending. I actually ended up recording for like over an hour and a half. Um, so I didn't realize until I've gone back to render the video now that the video goes on for ages. So I'm gonna actually split this video into two episodes. Um, so the next episode is gonna be around 30 minutes long, um, roughly. So you're gonna get a little bit extra in the next video, barring the, you know, 25 minutes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to end this off and obviously say goodbye to you all. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. If you would like to like the video, that'd be great. And also if you've got any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Um, and if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe. Bye guys.